Thank you, Nancy. You're welcome. Well, now, this is a real hospital. You know how I know? Because Dr. Eckert, my favorite resident, is on board. Hello, Dr. Huxley. Well, how are you, Dr. I'm <laughs> okay. Mrs. Gregory was admitted at 10.05. She's in birthing room number one. I checked her. She's seven centimeters dilated, and the vertex is at station minus two. Ah, you see, you're a gentleman who's still writing things down here on the case. Oh, I plan to continue writing the rest of my life. Really? It's my job. Uh-huh. What color was your overnight bag? I don't know. Call yourself a doctor? Mm-hmm. <laughs> together, son. Right, sir. Let's go. <laughs> I think it was green. No, no, it doesn't count now. Green is <laughs> Hi, Karen. How are you doing? Not as well as I will be this time tomorrow. Oh. Dr. Hexville, I'd like you to meet my father, Clayton Lee. How are you, Mr. Lee? Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, Miss Lee, are you going to be all right? No, I'm miserable. My father's not too happy about being here for the delivery. And I wouldn't be here if her husband, Chuck, hadn't gotten stationed in Iceland. I'd never had a baby before. Mm -hmm. I mean, my wife and I have three children. But those were the days when they didn't let men in the delivery room. The good old days. <laughs> Dad, you don't have anything to worry about. I'll be right here next to you through the whole thing. Thanks, I appreciate the support. <laughs> going to some, or else the baby won't be born. When will that be? Um, two to four hours. So soon? Yeah. Are you all right? I'm fine. There's just not enough air in this room. Uh, Mr. Lee, you're hyperventilating. Is that bad? It's bad if you do it during delivery. Uh, listen, we're going to take your pulse and your blood pressure just as a precaution. I didn't bring my checkbook. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This is on Dr. Eckert. Take, take him out, sir. Take him out. I'll be back. Don't start without me. <laughs>